Hello, so I'm going to do the reading for Aquarius for the week starting with today, which is Monday, January 7th to Sunday, January 13th. And I did do the last five signs yesterday before work. And when I went to upload it, I realized that the camera was not recording it properly. So I am doing it today, and that's why these readings are not for the same times as the other ones. Wow. All right, you have the Strength card and you have the Star card. That's a great way to start the reading. And as always, this is my interpretation of the cards. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm feeling. You may see or feel something different, and that's perfectly fine. And you don't have to be an Aquarius to resonate with this reading. You could have just been brought here just to see this reading, to get the messages. I don't feel like things have to be put in a box and you have to follow things a certain way. I feel that if you trust your gut and you go with your feeling, I feel that's what you're meant to do. I feel like everything happens for a reason. All right, so we have the Strength card and the Star card. <coughs> So we have leaving the past behind and finding love again. We have the Prince of Pentacles. All right, let's see. Prince of Pentacles is protection, a loyal friend, someone you can rely on. Careful and cautious movement and not rushing. All right. The star is also hope, healing, optimism, optimism. Better times ahead. Rejuvenation. It could be fame and fortune. I feel like this is slow, steady movement, that you're slowly moving towards this. Leaving the past behind and finding love again. Having hope, staying strong, have hope. The Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups is Disappointed on the path that you were on, but you're looking forward. You're gathering your strength to go on a new path, which I feel like that definitely relates to the star card. So have the strength to keep moving forward. It's slow, steady progress in whatever situation that you're in. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is someone who is very busy. She has a lot going on. She has a lot on her plate. She's a very busy person. She's someone you can count on. She could also be someone who's hot-tempered, disorganized, controlling, smothering, vengeful. But I feel like in this reading with all this positive energy going on, I feel like she's representative in the positive s space. So that may be representing you that you're very busy right now, that you have a lot going on.
Nine of Swords, there's something that you've been stressing about. There's something that you've been worried about. There's something that's been keeping you up at night. There's something that's been really bothering you. Let's, let's do one more. Ten of Swords. Yeah. There's definitely something that's been dragging you down, that you've been dealing with, that's been stressing you, or maybe it's something that you feel guilty about, something that you did that bothered you. This could also mean death of the old self, removing, removing old thought patterns. I feel like this is what it is, could going from the nine to the 10. That's the thing is that all the cards have so many different re, uh, meanings that you have to apply it to the situation and you just have to go like I said, go with your gut and what you're feeling. And what I'm feeling is that you've been going through some really hard times and maybe you're overthinking things. Maybe you're over-processing things. Maybe you're going through things in your mind so many times that it's giving you anxiety and you're staying up at night and you're having restless nights but this is saying I feel this one saying change of old thought patterns that you need to leave that behind you just like this emotions you need to leave that continual processing behind that you need to find a way to break that pattern that you're going to break that pattern and you're going to go on a different path where you won't be you won't be caught up in that as much you won't be caught up in the situation as much and it's going to take some time and you have to be strong but there is hope to change that to change either the situation that you're in that's really upsetting you and keeping you up at night that that situation is slowly going to change or it's your thought pattern I I feel like it's more like a thought pattern I feel like you're just stressing yourself and maybe this is the week that it starts to change that things start to turn around for you it is the new year so maybe this year things will get better for you that you won't be so stressed out. But you just have to st stay strong and it just it's just going to take some time. I know for myself that if I stay in the same pattern, I start to overthink things and I drive myself crazy with that. But then if I go out and I go do something, like I go horseback riding or I go to the beach or I go to an arts market or I go do something, I feel like I got a reboot. And then I don't, I'm not worrying about things and I'm like, oh, why was I even worrying about that? Like I didn't need to. So maybe that's saying what, I feel like that's what this is saying this week is just, Maybe become busier. Maybe, maybe do something differently. Maybe hang out with a friend. Maybe there's a queen of wands that could help you in your situation that maybe you could talk to that person. 
But I just feel like it's saying to break that old pattern of either the situation or your thought processes to where you're you're staying up at night and that it's going to get better. You can you can break that chain, you can break that. So that way it's gonna take some time, like I said, it's gonna take some time, have some strength, but there is hope. There is a there is a new beginning, there is a bright future to get away from that. All right, so that's what I'm feeling, and I will see you next time.